What's going on, Thorn Army? Joe here, and today we're going to be stringing up my stick for the 2017 Aleste Herbeski Memorial in the Czech Republic. This year, again, I'll be playing with the Nova Scotia Privateers, my boys, and uh, I got to put a new stick together as I normally do. We did a bunch of work this past week over on our uh, stories on Instagram. If you don't follow us over there, be sure you do at Throne of String. And I asked you guys what head, what pocket, what mesh, how I should string it up. Pretty much the whole thing. You guys either comment or DM'd me back and kind of the consensus to go with the Maverick tactic, which is great because I'm currently using this head and it served me very well through kind of uh, late winter, early spring um, across both box and field. And then uh, Chris and I thought it'd be cool to do one of our ombre dyes. So it's a single color fade. Uh, this one we used the cobalt powder and then just kind of left it in for a little bit and then left it in for a whole bunch. And we kind of get this like sky blue to, uh, I guess almost navy color at the bottom. Uh, looks absolutely insane. Um, we've done a few of these, but I've never had one for myself. And I love this single color fade. Down here we threw privateers. Here we did my number, which is 44 for box. And at the top, we have the Throne Crest. Uh, super clean, and uh, that's what I wanted to go with because I thought we were gonna do something a little bit crazier for the mesh, and we ended up doing that. So uh, just like the head, we also threw up what we should be stringing um, up in the new stick, and everybody wanted to see Beta. We had a few people kind of go Shadow, a few people go um, Ruby, and a few Cobalts, but Beta was kind of the end all. And uh, that's what I'm currently using the other tactic. So I thought that'd be pretty perfect. Um, so we're gonna be using beta. I thought we'd throw some yellow in. Uh, if you guys don't know, the Nova Scotia flag has blue, yellow, red, and white. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to put them all together in one stick. It is a little crazy. I think we'll pull it off. It might be, it might be a little much. We'll see, but I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty dope. And then kept it pretty clean on the shooters, um, just white. And then we went with the uh, mentality pack, the shadow, black, and gold. Uh, shooter because I thought that would look pretty sick. Uh, just bring a little black in because our jerseys or our, our dark jerseys are mostly black and it's kind of a, uh, one of our main four colors we got. So that is the kit we're going to be using and uh, let's get to it. Nine diamond top. I usually always use a nine diamond top and actually like 99% of our pockets use a nine diamond top. And let's get to the sidewall. Again, you want to break off the little tab here and then grab the extra little part that's on top of the string. And then you want to pull it out. And then what you want to do is take this end, and you want to wrap it around five times, um, the width, not the length, and uh, that'll give you the perfect sidewall. So one, two, three, four, five. Get my scissors, cut it. And just as we did on Kyle Sweeney's head, we're gonna skip this top hole, and uh, we're only gonna do a single knot because we're gonna go through twice, so. That's all it really needs. See, let's get the top hole. And if you're wondering how we get these perfect top strings or what I think is a perfect top string, um, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner and also in the description below to a tutorial where you guys can uh, pretty much nail this pretty easily. As for the pocket, we're gonna do something pretty similar we did to uh, Kyle Sweeney's, just because I even said in that one that we pretty much use the same stick. Uh, the only thing I might try and do is over channel mine a little bit more, uh, just because I'm gonna be using a shorty, and uh, just pretty much over, see how much I can get away with, with over defining the channel and also the pocket. Um, instead of kind of going halfway in between, um, I'm gonna go a little bit more aggressive I mean, the reason I'm doing this is uh, beta is a little bit softer, so I should be able to get a nice channel to it. Um, actually, overly nice channel to it, where the pocket's still gonna shift and give me that nice, quick release that I'm looking for. Um, again, I haven't strung that much with beta, so we're gonna see how far we can push it um, and still like it, so it should be fun. A little trick, we're having some issues. You can do the scissor on its side and push, help push the string through and it won't cut it. And then you should be able to get it from the back end. And if you can't, no, I got it. You can always use the scissors just to kind of grab onto it like a, you know, really bad pair of pliers, but it'll work. So usually when I get to this point where I have two nice pull downs, um, depending on kind of where I want to shift this mid-low, um, I usually count out, I usually always use right around 10 diamonds, so I like to count it out, kind of figure out 
where I'm at, where I want to push it to, and uh, you know, just have a, kind of an idea of where I'm going. Um, so I don't have to restring it more than once if I have to restring it. Sometimes I don't have to because I've started knowing the cross sticks in my life. Like that, that looks pretty good. It looks a little, a little shallow to me. Um, but the channeling looks good. So only that shallowness might be an issue. I think I'm gonna start stringing the other side and then um, we'll come back and look once we get about halfway down. Looks pretty perfect to me. Let's throw the shooters in and we'll see if it's dialed. Again, we're going with the black and gold shooting cord. I always stretch my shooters before I put them in, just makes breaking a lot quicker. Sometimes when you string the sidewalls too tight, you gotta use a blade, stick it in there and then slightly turn it just to uh, flex the sidewall out and then you should be able to put the tip shooter in. Just be extremely careful because you will cut yourself if you push uh, too far against the knife or you'll cut the string if you pull it too far away from the head. So just patience, but it's a little trick to get these shooters in when the sidewalls are super tight. There she is. Let's go see what she's made of. As you can see, my new tactic is absolutely dialed. Thank you guys for helping me uh, kind of pick this out. It's definitely a risk with the, the color of this, but I think it's gonna look pretty sick when we have our jerseys and everything on. Um, I think it's definitely gonna stand out on the floor. I just cannot wait to get over to the Czech Republic and play some serious box with this new setup. As always, let me know what you guys think about this stick in the comments below. If you're looking to pick up some featured products here, uh, like the fiber system or some thrown powder, definitely check out thrownlacrosse.com. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner and also in the description below. If you learned something, please throw the video a like and subscribe to Thrown the Cross to not miss the next custom stringing. That's everything. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the field. Boom. Yo, this thing's nasty.